Hello there, and welcome back to Siberia, the world before. Yeah, that's the title. <laughs> I keep forgetting. Um, okay, so uh, we are in London. We are playing as a Dana, and it's the year 1944, I think. Mission order. We have to do some document stuff. Um, Directorate of Special Operations, Foreign and Commonwealth Office, London. Top secret. Ooh. Mission order. Mm -hmm -hmm. Yeah. 1944, Agent Donna Rose. Agent Rose. We need volunteers for a delicate operation with the resistance in one of the occupied countries. A country you know well. Ostatar. If you accept, you will be dropped near Wagen so that you can coordinate an exfiltration operation of a civilian and get him into Switzerland. To do so, you will be escorted by one of the main resistance networks in the region. It has obtained excellent results for the past few years. few years. Whether you accept or not the mission, we need you to identify that network among other small underground groups active in Ostatar. For reasons of confidentiality, you are not to leave your office until you have done so. Whoa, sounds important. We have granted you temporary access to your workstation's pneumatic telegraph, a contribution to the war effort that was given to us by a French engineer, Hans Vorarlberg. This machine will allow you to claim any relevant documents you might need. We wish you good luck, L. Okay. Mm, that was the order. And now we need to, I don't know, fix this machine or use this machine to sort out the documents. Prepare the mission. Repair the pneumatic telegraph. I think the P is silent, right? <laughs> December 22, uh, 22nd, 1937. Dear Diary. So much has happened since I received Leon's letter a few days ago. I'm slowly recovering. Today, Papa and Mama told me that I was going to leave for a while. I'll explain what's going on, but I don't know where to begin. I need to gather my thoughts as I finish packing my suitcase. October 14th, 1940. It's three years later. Dear Diary, well, I know, I know, it's been three years already that I haven't written anything ever since I, f I left for the sanatorium near Wagen. It's because my diary must be in the chest in my bedroom where I left it before leaving for my convales convalescence. So I found this English substitute in which I write these few lines. London. I've been living here in London for the past couple of years. This is where Junta brought me after the death of my parents and of my... No, I don't want to talk about her. So it's been two years since Junta saved me from the pogroms that followed the annexation of Wagen. Junta the filmmaker, or rather Janet, as she's really called, turned out to be a double agent working for the Allies. I should have guessed. But the fact is, her leading a double life is what saved my life. Huh, life. If that's what you can call my existence in London for the past two years. I spend my days pent up in Junta's flat, only popping out from time to time to the pub down the road to play a few notes on the piano. But it won't bring back my parents, nor Leon. Our daughter, neither. During her short visits to London, Junta keeps urging me to pull myself together, saying that I'm depressed and that I ought to see a specialist. But what's the point? I must admit, I swore never to write again, but tonight I have nothing else to do. I'm stuck down here in the underground station with hundreds of others. The brown shadow has been bombing London almost every night. Feels like I'm being hunted down. It's almost as if the brown shadow was trying to flush me out, to hurt me, wherever I may be. As if to punish me for having the presumptuousness of escaping from them in Wagen. October 15th, 1940. Well, I survived yet another night bombing raid. But not everyone got away with it. In another underground station, a pipeline was hit by a bomb. The station got 
flooded. About 60 people died, drowned. There were children among the dead. I just can't bear this feeling of being powerless. I can't stand having to wait for the next tragedy to avoid. I've got to do something, fight against the brown shadow and try within my modest means to turn the tide of this 20th century that is becoming so tragic and which seems to be taking great delight in being so cruel to me. September 30th, 1941. So much has changed since last I wrote. The last time Junta came to visit, just can't get used to the to calling her Janet. I asked if she could find me a job so I could participate in the war effort against the brown shadow. Junta must have taken my request as a sign that my mental state is better now, because she immediately set to work to answer my request. Using her connections, she managed to get me a job as military assistant at the foreign office in the department in charge of supervising the resistance groups against the brown shadow in all the occupied territories of Europe. I might be just a simple assistant for the moment, but I have every intention of rising through the ranks as far and as quickly as possible. At least this way, being focused on the struggle against the brown shadow will take my mind off everything else. December 1st, 1941. Christmas will soon be upon us. It's been four years now since Leon was, jo was to join me after his departure for Baltaya with the Origin Expedition. Wherever you may be after all this time, rest in peace, my darling Leon. April 20th, 1942. I had the nasty surprise of waking up in the infirmary this morning. I was working really late again last night and apparently I just passed out. My superiors have threatened me with forced leave if I don't slow down. I know they are right, but I just, I just can't help it. Every minute counts to anyone who wants to triumph over the brown, brown shadow. May 5th, 1942. I had a fleeting visit from Junta yesterday. Officially... She came for an expedition, uh, exhibition, <laughs> unofficially to make out her report to the foreign office. Jutta heard about my malaise and my overinvestment in my work. I was half expecting her to reprimand me, but not in the least. I need to drink something. <laughs> mm. It even came to light that Junta had pleaded in favor of me participating in field-based operations, secret military operations. My training begins next week. I'm so excited. June 7th, 1942. It's been over a month since I began training. I feel exhausted, but everything has been going swimmingly. I must admit at first, I was apprehensive about using weapons, but it turns out that I'm quite a dab hand. Needless to say, I'll never be a killing machine, but I do know how to defend myself and my reflexes are good. So too is my capacity to take the right decisions in emergency situations. And according to my instructor, that's what really counts. My trainer was at first doubtful at the idea of training a woman for combat, but given the spectacular results obtained by other female underground fighters in occupied territory, he has become more committed to training them. I've always wondered why these results weren't made public. Anyway, weapons are just a small part of my training. I'm also trained in military equipment, means of communication, tailing methods and parachuting. All that's left to do now is finish this training and receive my first mission. Can't wait. July 4th, 1943. Most of my field training is done. I'm now only asked to attend the odd training session to keep up to par. So I've returned to my office work while waiting for them to assign me to a mission. And I'm still waiting. I've raised the subject with my superiors who invariably keep saying that they are waiting for the right opportunity. So there's nothing else to do but to wait. I just have to sit tight and continue to contribute to the war effort against the brown shadow by coordinating the various resistance groups in occupied territory. Oh, well, those were some uh, pages. Um, very long. I did not expect that. 
but I hope I can get to playing now. The United Kingdom seems pretty much on its own as representative of the free world in Western Europe. We've reconquered North Africa and half of Southern Italy, and we aren't going to stop there. The brown shadow still occupies the whole of Central and Western Europe. The Soviets are on the move. They've reconquered most of their territory, and they're closing in on the brown shadow. Getting so political now, like... Ooh. The most widely used allied single-seat fighter plane. I probably owe it my life, like all of us here. What's that? The Blitz ended a few years earlier, but now the Brown Shadow is sending us a new death machine. The V2. Mm, no idea what that is. Mm, mission order. Yeah, we read that. With snow under, the paperwork is piling up and problems with it. I guess winning a war takes time. And it could one imagine anything as insane as the whole wide world at war? And for the second time in barely a generation. Hmm. That must be for mixing the correct proportions of rarefied air in the system with the compressed air. From what I can understand of that... thing, the pressure must be high in the left tube, but low in the right one. Um, what is this machine for? Is it for sending these... You know... These notes? And low, but there's no green. Like this? From what I can oh, understand almost. of that thing. Quite sure what this machine even does. Obtain the list of resistance networks. Yeah. What are these things called? Silly me. Can't be it. Better try something else. the list of resistance networks resistance subject is it networks or is it resource no i thought it was resistances but i guess it's networks then Country would be Ostata. Right. Yeah. Topic. Resisted. Resistance Networks Ostata. Identify the Resistance Network in Wagen. 
Edelweiß. This one. It's, this one's in Wagen. Okay. Edelweiß? Ooh. A coincidence. Leon Beck? Must be a coincidence. Mountain artist. The network leader's alias. Ooh, he's back. Uh, come here now, my pretty Edelweiss. <laughs> don't call me that. You know I don't like it. It's true, though. That's exactly where you are, my pretty Edelweiss. If you keep that up, Leon Kobatis, I'll find you a nickname, too. <laughs> Go on, then. All right. I'll call you my mountain artist from now on. Leon! Must be him. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive! I need to... Oh, good grief. But how did he... Yunta! Yunta! No. Baden Island, Autumn 2005. So we're back with Kate. Oh my god! Oh. Happy so Leon after all. made it from Baltayar. But how? I have no idea, miss. All I know is that he survived for almost a year in the mountains before coming back to Ostertal to set up the Edelweiss resistance group. Which made Dana accept the mission you told her about back then, right? Of course, she was given extra training and was dropped near Wagen the following summer to carry it out. Hmm. We'd better get going. It looks like the storm is coming. So, do we still have reason to go, go first? Uh, to uh, the sanatorium? I'll meet you at the tram station in a minute. I feel like, um... Of course. Take all the time you need. We got all the information now. Or maybe... Yeah, we know what happened. Where she went after the sanatorium. So we don't have to go there anymore. Which is actually a little disappointing. <laughs> I was looking forward to it. Instead, uh, we got to see the cemetery. Hmm. Okay, so we're having a short moment of... Introspection, Anna Rose, 1938. It's a better place now. It says on the headstone, I think it's called. Leave the cemetery. Okay, we came from here. I just want to check out what's in the back here. Nothing. Okay, so my theory could still be uh, correct. My theory about Dana being Kate's great grandmother. If she, um, if Dana ended up with Leon after all. No, but she was sterile after miscarrying or losing the child. Hmm. Well, maybe the child did not die after all. Maybe. What? What's happening? What the heck? What is it, Kate Walker? The gates, they just closed. Oh, there must be a mechanism to open them somewhere. Mm -hmm. There always is, Kate Walker. So, the bag, again. I know, Oscar. I know. Obviously, you do not, Kate Walker. 
But there was this little shed on the left with some tools. Oh, there's a mechanism here. We're probably gonna need them. Something's missing here. Mm, don't have anything. God, she's gonna walk around all the way now. <laughs> okay. Closing time, huh? What am I supposed to do now? Sleep in a vault until morning? Okay, so I'm going to check out the shed again. And we also found like the pickaxe pick somewhere. Where was that? Oh. Mm. Oh no, not this way. I think it was this way. You go and get it. Can you bring that pickaxe closer, Oscar? Of course, Kate Walker. Yeah, now we can go back, open the shed, and take, I don't even know, something to use on the mechanism. Looks like it's compatible with a bigger mechanism. That's it? Why would they close the cemetery now, like this? Without making sure that no one's in there. Interesting mechanism. Uh, where was it? Here? Yeah. She keeps turning around. You seem 
disappointed, Kate Walker. About what? Well, correct me if I am wrong, but the fact that Diana Rose lost her baby and became sterile disproves your hypothesis that there can be a family link between you, doesn't it? You're not wrong, Oscar, but I'm just stupidly over-optimistic. I wish I were like you, and not controlled by stupid emotions. Nice of you to say, um, uh, I guess. Um, sorry. Uh, are you all right, Miss Walker? Let's take the tram back to the guest house, Miss Walker. I also don't see the sanatorium on the map. Um, I guess we're not going there. Yeah, I don't know. That little puzzle with the gate seemed kind of pointless. Like, I don't know. There was no, no reason to close the gate. Oh well, I'm not gonna complain about a puzzle. Even though I feel like they're almost a little too easy, the puzzles. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> Don't want to brag. No, I mean, I do have... I played a lot of puzzle games in the past and I do have some experience. But... Uh, maybe that's it. Maybe they're just... Quite easy. I don't know. Most of them. Or maybe not easy, more like um, not complex enough, if that makes sense. I feel like in the past games there were yeah, more there was more complexity to the puzzles than there is now. But we're not done yet, so I'm gonna keep an open mind. What about that mission Dana led with Leon's resistance network? It didn't turn out well, Miss Walker. Oh, Actually, no. that's the reason I left London to be here. Oh? Yes. Uh, just a second, Miss Walker. Where did I put it? What with this blasted storm? It's all over the papers. Here, have a look for yourself. Storm. Excavation work at Devil's Pass has been interrupted. An unexpected storm has obliged the Council to remove the bodies trapped in the ice since the Second World War, and to move them to the Silberspiegel Refuge. Those frozen bodies near the refuge. I heard about them just yesterday. Do you mean... Wait, they brought them from Baltaya? Yeah? There has been no formal identification yet, Miss Walker. But it's plausible that... That Leon, at least, is among those bodies. Yes. I thought they found these bodies at the Silberspiegel, at the Devil's Pass, and not found them somewhere else, and then brought them all the way from, what, different continent? <laughs> okay, that's a little confusing. Nah, I what don't happened think to Leon? Leon's there. According to the Just testimonies debate. I've obtained, Leon was killed on that mission the foreign office tasked Dana to lead an avalanche, apparently. No. I am one of the few people still alive to be able to identify him, which is why I'm here. If it weren't for this bloody storm, it would have been done today. Do you think Dana could be among the bodies? I suppose it would be logical. It would explain why I never saw or heard of her again after the mission. Yet, according to some witnesses, 
Dana survived the war and indeed helped resistance fighters from Wagen until the liberation. Maybe they just eloped together. if those testimonies were true, then Dana vanished after the war. Some were nice to spend their lives together. That's probably it. What about the other bodies? According to the medical examiner's office, in all, three bodies have been extracted from the ice. The one presumed to be Leon, and two others, a man and a woman not yet identified. Hmm. A woman? But there was no woman on the expedition. Try to stay positive, Miss Walker. Only a visual identification will allow us to be certain. We can go as soon as this storm's over. Probably tomorrow or the day after. Right. Miss Walker, we've arrived. But you're not coming, are you? Well, Miss Walker, you might not be related to Dana, but you bloody well certainly remind me of her. So we're going to the Silberspiegel refuge to check out the in the found bodies. In the middle of a storm. identification of the bodies, bodies I might add that were trapped in the ice for six decades, you, and by extension me, are going to climb up the mountain so you can identify them yourself. I know, Oscar, I know, but I've just got to be sure, because if one of those bodies turns out to be Dana, I... I... We'll have no more trains to chase? Wagen Mountain Silberspiegel Refuge, Autumn 2005. Oh my god, and she has to walk what seven kilometers to the to the refuge. Aye, aye, aye. Through the storm in the night. Inspect the common room, find the frozen bodies. Okay, are we already there? At the refuge. It looks like it's holding up, despite the storm.
Yeah, so we're checking out the common room first. No one here? It's not that late. I'd have thought Demoiselle Lenny would still be up. I believe that old people retire early, don't they? He seems a little odd. Demoiselle Lenny had tea with someone. Maybe with that alpinist guy. Another one of those cigars. A photo of Leon on a ship. Must have been taken during his return from Baltayar. But I still can't figure out how he survived the winter while he was on the run over there. Lenny also had that newspaper clipping about Leon. <sighs> Looks like the old girls built a veritable shrine to him. There's something truly odd going on with Demoiselle Lenny. I really ought to have a little chat with her. But before, the bodies. They are all that count right now. Where are they? Too small for a door. Key. Are they Look, up? Oscar! Right. A distant cousin! Um, what are you talking about, Kate Walker? And why are you laughing? Oh, it's the wheelchair. I was hoping to find Demoiselle Lenny here. Where would she go without her wheelchair? Okay, I'm gonna check outside uh, to see if the bodies are there. I assume if they're frozen, well, then they are outside, right? Lenny's left her lookout post. Hardly surprising with this blizzard. Oh, there's a person there. Should we take a look? This time I know how to. down there in the uh, the health gate or whatever it was called hell gates that's where the bodies were found i'm not gonna get a decent photo in this weather Oh, that's the assistant. Oh, it's the frozen bodies from the Devil's Pass. The forensic team had to bring them up here because of the blizzard. But their generator shut off. I'm concerned it could damage the bodies. Where's Demoiselle Lenny? Oh, in her room, resting. She... she collapsed right after the forensic team left for wagon. Jeez, what happened? I'm pretty sure it has to do with the bodies. I mean, she was staring down in that direction for, well, all the time, and then when they brought them up from the Devil's Pass, it was like, like she had seen a ghost or something. It was almost as if... As if she knew the departed. What? Is someone taking care of her? Oh, yes, don't worry. She's with that hermit who brings her wood and provisions sometimes. Okay, in that case, you go back inside. I'll take care of the generator. Are you sure? Positive, just go, go on. I need to check something in the tent anyway. Okay, I'm still confused. They found the bodies at the hell gates down there. But the expedition was like in Asia, wasn't it? It was like on a different continent. Or am I mixing something up? Did I... I don't know. I feel like I'm just... Uh missing something the gas tank's empty some information i better find some fuel so i can turn on the generator i expect 
There must be a stock of fuel nearby. I suggest you have a good look around, Kate Walker. Can I not just go? Look, in? Oscar! The bodies must be over there! It's too dark, Kate Walker. We should find a way to light up the tent. Uh first we need to find fuel and I think there was a generator. Um right next to the bridge. I should fill up the generator first. I'll come back later. Uh, what? Someone's observing us? But we have a stalker. Who is it? Who could it be? I have no idea. There must be something missing here. Oh, maybe the key. Wrong one. But we also saw. There was a crate here in the back that we can check out. Are you sure you want to stay under the storm to see the bodies, Kate Walker? They'll still be here tomorrow, you know. Maybe, Oscar, but I can't wait. I I've just got to know now. Oh, no, I'm just looking. Um... I'm missing something. But I can't check this one out. Okay. Uh, well, then maybe inside. Storm. No time to explore the refuge again. I need to find the frozen bodies. Mm. Okay, I'm missing something um, for the generator, but it doesn't look like it's got it's in here. Can't go up, and there's nothing else here. Okay, so it's probably somewhere outside. <coughs> Nothing. <sighs> Speak to me, Oscar. This button must have turned on the generator, Kate Walker. But you still need to use the starter. Okay. Thanks, Oscar. Got the tank all filled. Now I just need to start the generator. <sighs> there must be something missing here. Wait. Or maybe can Oscar use it? Don't even think about it, Kate Walker. Haven't I already been damaged enough during your adventures? Impossible. What am I missing? Oscar! 
here. The bodies must be over there. It's too dark, Kate Walker. We should find a way to light up the tent. Well, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna look around a little more. They must have carried Demoiselle Lenny to her room after she collapsed. They must have carried Demoiselle Lenny to her room after she collapsed. Oh. Looks like I can change its shape. Okay, good. And we're good to go. Be something missing here. So dark. Mm. Oh my god, it's way too dark to see that. Are they around or are they triangular? That doesn't work. be something missing here I just can't see it it's so dark maybe none of them better try something else I'm not sure how I'm supposed to achieve that shape. Looks like I can change its shape. doesn't fit no matter how too small for a door what I am very very um, confused right now Um, okay. So I'm going to use the key somewhere else. Oh, you know one. I hope the key we found opens the storage box on the generator. You'll just have to try it, Kate Walker. Storage box? What? Where? Oh. 
No, it's not nostalgia. Wait, what? Am I blind? I... Oh my god, I'm so blind. Locked, of course. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, now we got it. Ugh, dry biscuits. I wonder how long they've been there. These are the cookies the, um, that Leon had. Must be to crank up the generator. Okay, now we talking. Gotten something. Ah, yeah, wait. And we do it in we're doing it again. Finally. <laughs> Oh my god, it's gonna be... Oh god, it's so, so interesting now. I really have no idea who the bodies are. I guess it's not Leon. Forensics Institute of Wagen. And it's also not Dana, but... I can't know for sure. So. Okay, I think I'm gonna be an asshole now. And I'm actually gonna end this episode here because, yeah. I'm already recording almost for an hour, so sorry for the cliffhanger, but thank you for watching anyways, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.